Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. I am Mountain Man, joined here by... JoJo's Mojo. Once again, we are back at it. And tonight we have League of Legends, Northern Arizona University, JV B Team versus WCU. And I think this is the first week we're using Gen E for everything, isn't it? That it is. It's uh, hopefully going to streamline the process for NECC with everything from scheduling to score reporting and so on. So we'll see how that goes, but... We did see a few issues here on the player end of things as the map band link wasn't quite working for a little bit. So it sounded like we had to do a couple different links to get everything correct. Yeah, but here we are. I'm going to be honest, I don't know the characters well enough to necessarily know what they're banning. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know the characters, I don't know the game. All I know is when someone gets a kill, someone takes down one of the turrets, I believe they're called. It's either turrets or towers, one of those, and I want to say it's turrets. But all I can say is that I want WCU to get a solid victory here. NEU getting Maokai, because we can actually see the names in that one. So we can see who the teams pick, but not who they ban. Mm. Which is intriguing. Maokai and Janna are the top lane picks, I believe. I think it goes top lane, jungler, mid lane, support ADC in terms of picking order. Or in terms of lineup order. Because we'll have this in this band right now, or this band pick stage, and then we'll have the band pick in game before we actually start things off. And then once this band stage is finished we will have to come back in a few minutes once the game actually starts because of the spectator delay yep league of legends has an automatic three minute delay kind of to prevent cheating in that sense um but yeah we'll take a break there and then get into the action yeah it doesn't happen for a minute though and we do see neu picking Z uh maokai zaya and rack and rakan i believe for their first three and wcu picking Jana. Belveth and Tom Kench. Very interesting names. I mean, this just goes to show that esports names are just weird. <laughs> Not only the players, but the actual characters too. Absolutely. Kind of, kind of keeps it exciting though. I like it. Adds a bit of interest to it, and I like it. I'm a fan. What I'm not a fan of though is we have no way to see the just general results of. League of Legends teams overall right now. Yup, and that just kind of goes back to kind of the issues with the website. I believe on the website they might be updated. I can take a look at that. Is that the Jenny website you're talking about there? Yep. Well, while we try and figure that out, or figure that out, thank you all for tuning in. As we see the final bands coming from NAU and WCU before we get to the final picks. So now Red gets a pick. So Mountaineers get first pick of the ADC support players. We do see Lucian being selected by Western. So it'll be interesting to see who Northern Arizona takes next. as they seem to be taking their time here. Really wanting to find that decision before ending up picking Cassante. Or Cassante? I don't know. Again, I don't really know the names, don't really know the game, but always here, happy to help out with the Mountaineers. Ari being the final pick for NAU. Okay. And we have finished up with Vex yeah, on WCU's side. Looking at the season rankings, we have NAU JVB currently at 2-1 and one on the season. 
as WCU is one on one and one uh, since they've had a bye so far. Should be a very intriguing game. But as we say that, we will have to be right back once the game actually starts. Stronger. How may you die with your eyes closed?
Sorry about that, folks. Looks like we had a brief disconnect on NAU side. Not gonna say what provider, because we don't want to be rude here, but it was their own independent internet, not the schools, it sounds like. So, that's why the ban phase in this actual, in the actual game took so long, is because they were trying to stall so they could reconnect. But, we will be back once again in a few minutes, as as the re-ban and pick actually go through on League of Legends, and then the game actually starts in a few minutes for spectator reasons. Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well?
the summoner's rift. And welcome back in as we actually are ready to go. Minion's going to be spawning here in 30 seconds as we have to take a second to set the game up once again because League's a little bit of a hassle to try and get set up. A little bit. <laughs> And it sounds like we'll be getting our scoreboard set up as we do see Ben the Bean and Andrew Wheel and Dis and Jay all saying good luck, have fun, and showing love and positivity here. Something that's refreshing in competitive games. Absolutely. Gotta love good sportsmanship. Couldn't tell you how many times I've played... Uh, Overwatch and Rocket League and I tell people to or and people tell me sorry to get off the game and you're so bad I wish that I never played <laughs> so positivity especially in something like this where it's super competitive is so nice to see and we see Dis and Nova kind of going at one another here feeling the waters not wanting to overcommit and we see Haymaker and Cory against Jay and Silas, I guess. Disagree, the big frog. That's about all I got for you. And Drill going against Ben the Bean. Ben a little bit low here. Nova gets a stun on Dis as Dis retreats back to the, I believe it is, again, I believe it's turret, and that's what I'm going to go with. But Dis retreating to the turret to try and Played a bit safer. Haymaker and Corey probably about to do the same. Ben having to do the same just a second ago. Yeah, kind of looking at the overall rating rankings going in. Uh, NAU definitely has a slight advantage as far as skill level, but we'll see how well WCU can work together to hold them out. And sometimes level isn't quite everything. Having the right team composition can really make or break your entire season. So there are times where you can see teams that are much lower ranked take on higher team, higher ranked teams, but those higher ranked teams don't work as well together. So absolutely. Oh, bump the desk there. My apologies, but looking right now about even in gold, just a 200 gold deficit for WCU here. And Ben, ooh, getting close as we might see first blood come here in a second. Ulti getting now surprised by Nova and Views. And there's the first blood. Nova the top lane, Views the jungler for Northern Arizona, both going in, taking out. Yeah, definitely that first kill is very beneficial there for NAU putting up a putting them up a thousand gold already. And that's an early lead, which can help out, but sometimes early leads not quite what they seem. They could just be a lucky jump, or they could just show that it could show how the match is gonna go, but we can't figure that out until later as Ulti comes in now to help Corey and Haymaker. Do you have a three on two down here in the lower section? The lower lane, I believe. No. And Dis and Nova just gonna kind of still be feeling each other out. Neither team showing too much aggression towards one tower or the next. We now see WCU's mid lane still just trying to push forward a little bit, see if they can find any use, but any use is still working on getting back to the middle. That gold seeming to work out a little bit better there as we just look at the loadouts for each team 
and that gold seeming to come in a little bit more help for NAU. Something that I've noticed with League is that the starts tend to be fairly slow as both teams trying to throw each other out. Absolutely. Definitely the start comes down to just kind of farming and building up your XP, getting as much gold so you can buy your items, and kind of leveling up in that sense. And Andrew has just taken out Ben, going to give themselves a second on that middle tower alone, or that middle turret alone. Going to try and take out the minions, get some more gold here. And Ben will come back in just a second here. Nova trying to pull this away from the tower, almost succeeding. Dis clinging on, but still alive. Haymaker there, also yeah. just clinging on. Haymaker got real low there, so. Might Oops. take a second and retreat back here to fully heal back up again. This now at about half their health. Nova, not that far down at all. Ooh, and as I say that, this now and gonna be taken out by Nova. And we did see Haymaker go back to the spawn location, I believe, to get some more health, as I predicted. Corey there trying to hold off that two on one download, successfully doing so. As Ben is now once again trying to feel out with Andrew Wheel. And there is a 3-0 lead in terms of kills for NAU. Yeah, 3-0 and definitely some, some good damage done on that top tower there for NAU. So, good advantage there. And we do see Ulti a little bit closer to Dis there as Nova jumps back to the spawn. Ben will be taken out by Angel once again. And WC looking for a chance here on that bottom lane to try and get some extra damage. Ulti now coming in. Trying just to keep Andrew off of that mid lane tower. up 3.4k in gold already we're about eight and a half minutes into this match no towers have been taken yet but wcu has three of their towers sitting at four armor plates left and there's i believe no damage done to really any of the enemy towers it does not look like it Three there trying to take Nova into that back line to get targeted by the turret, not quite able to keep them there. As Ulti comes in now to try and help out and take or trying to help and take out Nova. Give the UCU a bit of a push on that top lane. But now here comes Fuse to save Nova. Disagree taken out once again. So Ulti gonna probably take a second here and try and just delay stall. Do what they can. Uh, that tower is getting a little bit too low for our liking. Yep. It was a good attempt there by WCU trying to get first blood for themselves there. But having that second jungler come in and with the support is not ideal. And I mean, he does summon a Rift Herald up top. Taking out that final... Working on that final plate on that top tower. Going to take out... Almost going to take out Ulti here. Not quite able to do so. Nova getting a bit lower. Views fairly low, and same as Andrew will. So ulti very low for WCU. Ben just about to re excuse me, just about to respawn. Ulti now just trying to run away, but getting rooted and taken out there by views. Seven to zero in terms of kills in NAU's favor. WCU I think is just about out of that top tower.
Looks like both of NAU here on the bottom lane going to retreat back and get some more power-ups. Or get some more items, I guess. Yeah, kind of hitting the middle part of this game, at least for NAU with the amount of gold that they have. They're definitely trying to level up, stock up their inventory, and kind of go back to fighting, and hopefully for them take down some of their towers. I mean, for us, we're hoping that they just kind of get team swept here and we get a huge push on one or two, maybe all three of the towers, but so we see Ulti going in against Views, trying to 1v1, Koryk jumping in now to try and help out, as it is now a 2v2, and Koryk's going to take get taken out there, and this is going to 1v1 Nova up top, Ulti now trying to run from four NAU players, that is unfortunate. Haymaker just gonna retreat back as there are four NAU players on the bottom. Yeah, NAU takes their first turret on the upper lane. It looks like NAU's gonna take this dragon here too. And a huge gold disparity here. NAU at 21k WCU only at 14. As Corey is now back with Haymaker on that bottom line, Ben is still fighting against Andrew. I'm wondering at this point, who's going to draw first blood for WCU? It's a good question. Uh, WCU has been probably closest going after, uh, going for kills up in the top lane, but still unsuccessful so far. Ben gets taken out once again by Andrew Will. Andrew Will not wanting to stop against Ben, keeping up middle lane open. As we see Ulti come in now, just trying to support, and this may be going to fall here. It does fall here to Nova. Yeah, Nova goes on a killing spree. We see Andrew Will on unstoppable there just a second ago as well or is dominating my apologies yeah we have nau taking the second tower in the upper lane as wcu starts to get some damage on that bottom tower and gonna quickly just retreat here as they don't have anything else that they can really do haymaker up eight or up one level on jake Curry and Silaze looking about the same. Ben, two levels lower than Andrew. Ulti the same as Views, and Dis two lower than Nova. So those levels are definitely gonna be. Ooh, and Silaze finds Cory there. But we do see. I believe that is Ben finding Andrew there. Yeah, first blood there for the Mountaineers. And second turret there for NAU. I don't quite know what their mascot is, if there is one. Um, I know that when we played them in hockey, it was the Ice Jacks, but I highly doubt that that's the name for the rest of the school. And Use Finds disagree once again in that top lane, so two NAU now very close to WCU's home crystal there, 15 minutes into this match. Nova is doing a number on this top lane up here. And this here can spawn back in one second. Haymaker now coming in to try and push Nova off. That tower getting incredibly low. Now Nova and Nova taking on Ulti and Haymaker almost finding Ulti there. Dis now coming in to try and help out against Nova. Definitely some impressive play here by Nova, taking on the double team. 
And it looks like that mid lane's first turret is destroyed as well. That it is. NAU now up 10k in gold over WCU. As they found another Rift Herald without us even noticing, and they destroy that first turret on the upper lane in the WCU home territory. Trying to find that first crystal there with that Rift Herald. As WCU does end up shutting down views. Nova almost going to get found here. Trades with ulti, but it is three kills to one, four kills to one of WCU. For, for NAU to WCU. My apologies for messing that up so horribly. English is not... I was about to say it's not my first language, but no, it's not my major. And there's going to be... I mean, with that ace, you've got to imagine any is going to push here, but... They're actually sitting back, taking half a second. Nova and Andriel did get found there in that fight. Yep, that they did. As far as kills go, NAU with 18, WCU with 4 now. Again, NAU is about 10k, over 10k now in gold on WCU. They've taken out 4 or 5 of their turrets. So. 5 of their turrets, they found 2 Rift Heralds and 1 Dragon. Nakori, Ulti, and Haymaker all on that bottom lane, leaving Dist to defend against Nova up top alone, and Ben trying to feel out to see if anyone's there in the middle of the map. Blue team gets the dragon, the second dragon there. As Nova now trying just to ignore the crystal and go for disagree. Andriel takes Haymaker there. Hughes and Andriel taking out Corey together. As Ben and Ulti now trying to take on Hughes and Andriel. And no one finds Dis, so I believe that this very well may do it for this round. Twenty-two to four in NU's favor. A 12, 13k gold difference. As this is gonna be probably the final fight. Triple kill there. Yes, it should be. And I believe with three NAU right there and a team wipe on WCU's end. I think that's going to probably be it for this round. And there's all five of NAU that is going to do it as they take on the final crystal and they find it. So this is a best of three series, so WCU still has two games and has a chance of winning here. They'll just need to take their time here in between games and try and get right back into it, but for now... We'll be right back as soon as they start with their picks in the act. We'll do the. I think we should do the picks in the actual League of Legends menu. Yep. So we'll be back once those are wrapping up.
Well, everyone, welcome back to game two in this best of three series. WCU falling in the first game to NAU JVB. Bands coming now and picks, which they were predetermined. We just didn't feel it was necessary to show the process twice, so we may as well just show it here. Absolutely. That first round was definitely a little tough for the Mountaineers. Uh, I don't know, definitely... Uh, NAU's top lane is kind of just on a roll. I know uh, Disagree has never played against that character before, so that that's definitely a struggle when you don't really know what to expect going into a fight. And from what it sounds like, no one on this WCU team has really faced that before either. So. Absolutely. Uh, NAU, an interesting team because nobody really knows exactly uh, who's playing what and what specific role because they're so diverse uh, just kind of looking at their op.gg uh, it's just an interesting lineup to kind of try to counter pick against because they just have so many characters they can play and I mean WCU here knowing which person should be in which role and they do have some knowledge of other characters but they're more the characters that you would expect for this ring to know from what it sounds like not quite the level of technicality and mechanic based or loadout based that the characters that NAU is pulling out here absolutely we're definitely seeing a couple of changes across the board nothing too crazy but I'll come back should stronger. cause for a kind of different fight lineup I would hope it causes some different fight mechan <laughs> or different fights I mean, watching the same fights happen twice in a row isn't necessarily <laughs> my definition of entertaining, but I mean, the same could be said about people with watching the same team oh, go back and forth with anything, like football, basketball, hockey, tennis, whatever. Absolutely. I guess from uh, you, your viewpoint, how do you think uh, WCU can improve upon essentially the beginning phase? Kind of so. just with uh, <laughs> doing some mining and yeah. From what it looks like so far, and this is someone who hasn't played League, I might want to remind everyone. <laughs> I I think I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but I played it once when I was in middle school and I said this is not my thing and stopped it immediately. Um, but from what I saw, it was there was a lot more of just focus on the minions from NAU side and focus on the things that spawn throughout the game. So the I think the golems or the Rift Heralds, the dragons. We saw a lot more of focus on that from NAU, whereas WCU was more focused on just trying to stay in it. Absolutely. They were, they were yep. definitely wanting to just not give them a free access to a tower or two, but I think at this point we might need to let them take one tower for us to get those benefits from killing more golems, from killing more dragons, from killing more rift heralds. Yeah, I feel like if uh, WCU as well, if they can kind of do a little bit more uh, team-coordinated attacks, I think that'll be beneficial especially in the earlier stages. I know uh, ideally you kind of want to have everyone doing their own thing at the beginning, but just kind of after seeing the start of last match, uh, WCU could definitely benefit from getting a couple early picks in that realm. Yeah, and I mean, for the next two, three minutes here while we wait, I think that something that UA, or NAU, not UAN, um, NAU really did was their jungler was more roaming throughout the entire side of their map, whereas WCU is kind of just stuck to one or two people. Namely, I think we saw Ulti stick with more Dis and Ben, and even then closer to Dis throughout that entire thing. And I mean, we saw what happened with NAU when their one jungler came up at fairly early on and picked this exactly yeah definitely getting those two-on-one fights is beneficial we'll see what wcu can do we're about two two and a half minutes out from the start of this so we're going to take a break here and we'll be back to round two in just a little bit
Welcome back in as we finish setting up the scoreboard. We have quickly started this game a little bit faster with the game capture actually wanting to work this time for us as opposed to last round where it really did not. We do see possibly a quick fight here as Ben does a little bit of a poke and sees Jay and Silas and decides to back out. But right now everyone kind of just waiting for something to happen. No one really wanting to go in too far or too fast. Dis now up top, Minions chasing a little bit. Minions now spawning. It's going to be Dis and Nova really fast here <laughs> as Dis tries to back out. Corey gets a little bit of damage on Silas and Jay there as everyone starts to head back to their assigned, or I should say that in quotes, assigned positions. I think it's a pretty loose turn when you consider top lane, mid, ADC, support, and jungle. But seems like WCU, without actually knowing it, is following the advice, getting some attack on those golems fairly early on letting the people who need to level up first and fast do so. We see Cory sending Silas and Jay into the air once again. It's a little bit faster chip damage now from WCU. Ben taking a few hits there from Andrew, but not wanting to overstep the bounds. Andrew already has two, or already has leveled up once. The only one on W, so have Nova and Views. The only person on, oh, now we see Dis, Ulti, Ben, and Haymaker on WCU having leveled up. So everyone but Cory has leveled up at least once. Looks like Cory and Haymaker here in a bit of trouble. Cory might fall if they're not careful and does. Jay gets first blood against Cory. So now it's 2 on 1 with Haymaker on that bottom lane. Haymaker gonna stay back and just try and defend. We do see a jump from Ulti though onto Andrewil. And they're going to get the pick back, tied 1 to 1. It's a great start there for the Mountaineers, kind of what we were talking about earlier. Getting a couple of those double teams pulling the jungler for a couple fights here and there earlier. And we see Dis and Ulti both at three levels, Ben at three, Haymaker at two, and Cory still at one. And then we see Nova Views and Andrew with three, and then Jay and Silas both with two. So roughly I want to say about the same level disparity here. A little bit higher on any side, but nothing too extreme right now. As I believe both teams are still just trying to feel each other out as Dis is taking some damage on the top there. But not enough for the director cam to pick it up and switch it. Dis looking like they're going to just hide by that tower. As Nova still just tries to do some chip damage, taking out some of the minions coming in. Getting some of that gold. Small lead once again for an AU at a 8k lead. Or 800 lead, sorry, not 8k. Do you see NAU starting to get a little bit of uh, damage on a couple of the towers, but nothing too significant yet. And it looks like we might find a WC might not find another kill on Andrew, but Ulti takes off just to be safe. I do think he could have gotten that. He would have taken quite a bit of damage from the tower, but I think he could have recovered there. I think he would have been fine, especially if he could have just gotten out of range and just let. Ben there takes some damage on them or do some deal some damage to the minions. But now Andrew is a little bit higher up than Ben, and it's gonna show as they chase. Andrew will sleep, but somehow Ben getting found. And Andrew just on their last little sliver of health, gonna probably retreat here. Ulti tries to give a little bit of chase, but we do see that Andrew will retreat back. Two to one in terms of kills, but that's not too bad. That's a lot better than what we saw so far last game. Absolutely. WCU's definitely picking it up here. Uh, NAU still leading in the realm of gold, but not by a too significant of an amount yet. 
I mean, if I just randomly was able to get 1.3k <laughs> out of nowhere, I'd be pretty happy. But ooh, and Nova chasing Dis here, gonna get taken, take a bit of damage from that tower. Nova gonna retreat a second. <coughs> My apologies. Korean Haymaker just on the bottom trying to keep Jay and oh Silas. I can't remember that name. <laughs> back, but, I mean, they're, they're holding them off fairly well. Silas gonna try and flank here. There's gonna be a third with views coming in as Cory, or as Curry, Cory, and Haymaker both retreat back to their first tower. Uh, they did threaten, like, uh, 3v2, but the jungler is backing off now. I mean, if Cory and... Haymaker both want to try and do a small push here. Jake can get picked off and leaving a 2v1 against Silas, but I don't think either team wants to try and overstep, as always. Because the second you overstep, you're going to get found just like that. And just like this, as Nova gets found by Dis. Something that um, I can't say I really expected that, but Nova. Ooh, Nova stays alive for a second there. As Silas now working one on one on this dragon. Ultimately, be taking on this frog looking thing. <laughs> As Dis comes back up. Or, no, not Dis on that top lane. Dis is. Back. Nope, Dis is out at the turret. Gonna give a little bit of chase to Nova. Definitely a much better start here for WCU, but it is still starting to lean a little in favor of NAU here. Ooh, and Ulti was getting a little bit greedy there. Gonna try and chase Andriel. Not quite able to find the good attack, or a good chance to attack. Nova getting stunned here by Dis, and Dis gonna try and take out these minions if they can. I mean, Cory and Haymaker, they're doing a decent bit of damage to that first tower on NAU's bottom lane. And there's going to be a 2v... There might be a 2v1 coming up here in just a second against Nova. But Ulti does back off for half a second there and going to keep backing off, doing some more damage. Jay gets knocked back a bit. Silas and Jay both a little lower than I think they would like to be, especially with Haymaker and Corey both being just about at full health. Ben now going in against Andrew. Andrew finding a little bit more damage. And it's going to just remain those two. We might see Views try and go up and get a pick on Dis here with Nova. Dis gets stunned by Nova there, but not going to fall. Andrew going to step in pretty harsh. Ulti going to fall in and take down Andrew. So a... I mean, it's a trade there from WCU. It is to, a trade. Uh, I would have liked to see uh, WCU's jungler come in a little earlier just to try and uh, get that double team, but still able to get a trade there. Not too bad. I mean, any trade's a good trade at this point. And Nova's just going to keep working on that tower. And they're going to summon the Rift Herald here. Views and Nova now against Dis with a Rift Herald going in against the tower. So we have a solid push opportunity for NAU on that top lane. We're going to see Ulti try and get back to do a bit of defense against both Views and Nova. As Haymaker now getting picked, almost getting picked off by NAU, but Corey taking the block for Haymaker, keeping him alive and in this. Absolutely, that was a great uh, defense there on WCU support. And there goes the Rift Herald, but that's going to leave Nova and Views on top. Ten minutes into this match, and a turret is going to—a second turret is going to get found. So any of you having found two turrets and a Rift Herald, WCU not quite finding anything yet. This would be Views and Nova against Ulti and Dis on that bottom lane, or on that top lane. My apologies. Definitely here in the second match in this best of three series, WCU is playing a bit more conservative. Uh, honestly, playing better overall. Um, with that said, NAU is still, still just playing well. It's about all we can say. Ooh, and Disc gets picked off there by Angel last second, so it's going to be a 3v1 here, or 3v0 on this tower. 
or on this turret on the bottom lane or on the top lane gosh i cannot remember the sides <laughs> but a third turret destroyed by nau it's gonna be a three on two here as i think ben is gonna try and get back to help defend with this spawning in just a couple of seconds and ulti now trying to hold off a one versus three on their own there's gonna be a, an inhibitor falling from for wcu and able to quickly get that attack and push WCU back into a corner. Namely with that top lane. Going to probably make this play a little bit further back from here on. Now that was quite the push there by NAU taking out, what, two towers and... Or is that three, three towers? Yeah. Three turrets and turrets. the inhibitor. And a 7k lead for NAU. WCU already has kills as opposed to last batch. They didn't find one for about 15 minutes. But, and they're going to find the dragon here. And this could very well help out WCU enough. But it looks like it's going to be Ben the Bean against almost the entire squad of NAU. This does not look good for Ben. And that was a quick wipe there in a 3v1. And it looks like it might be a push onto middle lane here two on O oh, on that middle lane first turret three on O. Oh, my apologies as Silas comes in and i think we see the rest of wcu gonna try and get back up and push enough to get them off of the turret last second what they do keeping the turret alive just barely and we do see a big team fight here as we as and there is a pick there is a pick on Silas. Ulti and Haymaker getting some help here from Corey. Ulti going to find... I don't know who that is. Uh, Jay. Muse finds Corey. Haymaker versus Nova and Muse here. Haymaker going to try and run back. Andrew will find Dis on, the, on that top lane. And it is going to be Ulti and Nova here in that middle lane. With that blue turret just following, Ulti's gonna probably try and get Nova. He pick, get a pick on Nova. Gonna give a little chase. And I mean, Andrew here, it looks like, on that top lane against what is now a quickly respawning WCU squad. Andrew gets picked by Haymaker and the tower during the turret combination. I mean, WCU is not letting up. They are holding holding strong. NAU still chipping away, but WCU looking much better in game two here. Right now, WCU is down, but they are not out, and they are not wanting to show anything. They're not wanting to show any form of advantage that uh, NAU might have, and they're just trying to keep their defense alive. And if they force NAU to keep coming in with all of these stronger minions, all of these like with harder attacks if they can get a decent pick this the momentum in this game very well could turn just like that you see you still yet to start attacking their towers but still plenty of time left in this match loads of time left in this match and ulti Corey, and haymaker there trying to get a push up top as ben is left alone on the bottom lane against nova which is interesting because that's neither of their starting lanes. Nova is starting starts up top, and I think NAU here is going to try and destroy all of the turrets from WCU instead of just going in and trying to finish the game out. Nova's going to chase Ben here, and probably going to find him. Nova does find Ben as. We see NAU going in for the Rift Herald. Ulti gets behind Nova. Corey going to try and give a bit more support to Ulti here. And Nova might get taken out by Ulti and Corey working in tandem. It does look like that. And there it is. 
Oh, Haymaker coming in now. Haymaker, Cory, and Ulti all coming together to stop Nova, but there is a four-person push with a Rift Herald by NAU on that top. Finding that turret. So now there's Ulti left alone here. Trying to defend both the turret and the main crystal. Cory coming in now to try and help. Haymaker coming in to try and help. Andrew might get picked here. Silas might get picked here. There's outer inhibitors coming back for WCU. Views might get picked. Silas gets found by a turret. Jan Views now looking to get that inhibitor. This and Haymaker going in to try and find Jan Views. It was definitely a big fight there for NAU, but WCU able to hold him out a little bit longer. Haymaker gets, I believe that was Jay. Views now getting chased by Dis. Kills now balancing out, almost back to even. WCU finding a, quite a few there, getting seven kills and, since we last checked in, and I think NAU only found three. Yeah, definitely a good fight there for WCU. Let's see if that'll be enough to switch the momentum so they can start attacking these towers. I think any of you here are just going to try and get one last big push of four down the middle or the top. Yeah, that's about all they need there after taking out all the towers. Turrets. Turrets. For some reason it's called turrets, not towers, but I don't know. This game is still confusing to me. <laughs> All I know is this WCU is trying their hardest to not give up and stay in this match. Dis now giving chase to Andrew. Andrew almost getting found. Nova just getting getting protected there. As it is going to be a four on three, almost a four on four. This definitely could be the last fight if NAU is able to stay alive here. And it looks like it will be as Ulti, someone who definitely helped out in this defensive position is off was off on their own trying to get that dragon and then he starts attacking it they're two down for wcu it is now a 3v5 on this last on their defense ulti does find jay but that will be it that it will nau jvb going up 2-0 over wcu I mean, that, that was just an unfortunate display of force from NAU, something that WCU couldn't quite counter. But kills there looking much better, 12 to 16, in terms, instead of what happened last time, where it was just an absolute slaughter. I mean, in terms of total damage, we see just a, I mean, not quite matched, but it's a lot closer than what it was the first time around. Haymaker having 9,000, the top for WCU, as opposed to the 14,000 shown by Jay. Absolutely. Just in terms of kills, uh, WCU did three times better there, so that's something they should be proud of. Yeah, Haymaker get, got six in that match alone in 8.0 KD because he had six kills and two assists that match, showing that WCU played more as a team this go. Yeah, but de definitely a s solid showing uh, there in game two, but NAU does come out with the victory. I mean, this does prove that there's a lot for WCU to work on, but this also does show that this WCU team is improving. They did not want to go down without a fight, and they stalled that game out probably as long as they could have. But sometimes it's just not enough. Absolutely. Well, that does it here for us on WCU Esports. I mean, at least for tonight. We'll be right back here tomorrow with Overwatch. I believe it is Slate and Crimson, correct? Uh, Crimson Slate and Black, we well, have... I thought Crimson and Black were playing at the same time this week, unless they, they got a reschedule. Do. That they do. So we'll see who else is going to be streamed, but I believe we'll stream Slate first, as they play here at 6 p.m., and Crimson and Black both play, not against each other, but at 8 p.m. That they do. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I am JoJo's Mojo. I'm Mountain Man. Have a great night, everyone.